New at 10, controversy on campus as crews remove this United States flag. It flew at KU as part of a nationwide art project, but the question remains, was it artwork or totally disrespectful? As 41 Action News reporter Dia Wall explains, it all depends on who you ask. Pledges of Allegiance is a national art project, and until today, its final flag flew here. Now, there's an empty pole and lots of debate on if free speech can go too far. What do you see? When I see this flag, I think about the flag draped over the coffins of my dead friends and the values they died to protect. That belief strong enough to prompt one student to take a seat. Others see something different. Finally, a flag that's painted with black paint I think is a, is a really good representation of, of where this country is. This is untitled Flag 2 by Josephine Mexieper, who says it's about time for our differences to unite us rather than divide us. It got people looking, posting, and protesting. Honestly, I think it's, it's good. This sparks debate. It starts healthy debate. Pledges of Allegiance is privately funded but it was displayed on a public university campus. And I really don't want my university to be known as a bastion of anti-American sentiment, especially here in America's heartland. That's just not Kansas value. That's not what we stand for. Kansas Governor Jeff Collier agreed. He called KU Chancellor Douglas Gerard demanding its removal. Hours later, Untitled was taken down. Unfortunately, I'm too late. I would have liked to have seen it. I've only known of it since this afternoon, but it's already gone. People I talk to in the art community are disappointed, saying freedom of expression is an American right. I actually agree with that. It is a freedom of expression, and that's an important freedom. It's, it's, it's a value that we share. Um, it's just bad taste. Well, there is freedom of expression here, but there is also a symbolism of our country, and there's an appropriate place for all of those things. This empty flagpole symbolizing just how different our views truly are. The divided country and a divided state and now a divided campus. Gerard said safety concerns prompted that removal. And there's one important thing that we should note. Untitled was not an American flag that had been painted on or defaced. It was actually a graphic image of a flag that was printed onto some fabric. In Lawrence, Dia Wall, 41 Action News.